Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth and in today's video, I want to talk about some of the products that I want to try out next. I want to go over your long list of suggestions. So I got a lot of windows open on my computer just because I asked you guys on Instagram and also on my YouTube community page, what products do you recommend that I should try out? So I'm going to do that in today's video. I'm actually going to look through the products, see if I like it, give you guys like my initial first impression if that's something that I like, oh, I would try or uh, after looking into it, I'm not really a fan of it. No offense. Let me tell you what's in my hair just in case you guys are like, oh, it looks kind of nice. I think it looks, I think it looks nice. The bangs area, it's kind of, mm, but overall, overall, it looks good. So this is day four hair. I'm using the Sultanicals Frozen Gel with the Frizz Whiz. Those two as a combination works out really good. My curls are defined. Day four hair, like I mentioned. So let's start you guys left me like a lot of stuff and what I appreciate is that you were specific some people have mentioned the brand so I'm gonna break down the brand but people were like nah I want you to check out this product specifically and the first one that I'm gonna look at is the nature's little secret and it's the Irish moss styling cream so I never tried anything from this brand out before so just by looking at this product I like I like the way it looks it's purple I do like purple so what exactly is this this is a what is this Okay, it's free of sulfate, paraben, silicone, made with nature's ingredient. Description is a type of red seaweed, but what exactly is it? Okay, this styling cream will leave your hair nourished, conditioned, and defined. Who doesn't want that? I want that in my hair. Right off the bat, it looks like it's not like a watery product. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more thicker. So this does seem interesting. I really like the ingredients of it. Does it have aloe vera? I love me some aloe vera. Yes, it does have aloe vera. A little bit towards the middle of, of the ingredient list, but... That's fine. It's kind of interesting. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The flaxseed curly custard thicker formula. How do I feel about flaxseed? The only flaxseed that I have is the Eco Slay, and that has a lot of hold. So I'm already thinking that this is going to provide a lot of hold. So this flaxseed, what is it good? It's perfect for braid outs, twist outs, rod sets. It's going to leave your hair defined, bouncy, and moisturized. No refrigeration needed. Thank you. The other Eco Slay product that I have, you need to place that in the refrigerator. Mine is not in the refrigerator, so dang. I have to put it, I need to put it in there. I have the deep conditioner in the refrigerator. I'm not too sure about getting a flax seed. I feel like if I had to get a product, I might get the other product before I get this one. I don't know, this doesn't seem bad though. It still has like no sulfate, paraben, and silicone, but this doesn't seem bad. I don't know, maybe I would get this before the other cream. So far, both these products, they do sound really interesting, so I like it. Next, let's move on to Tailored Beauty. So you guys wanted me to try Tailored Beauty out. I never tried anything, of course, from this line out, so I like that you guys were specific and you said not. Nah, get the Coils Curling Jelly, and this is what it looks like. When I see jelly, I feel like it's going to be like a little bit heavy on my hair. I don't know what I tried as a jelly before that like my hair looked really bad, but... Let's try to be positive. So on the front, it says for lustrous, ultra-defined, healthy curls, ultra-defined. So I feel like that's going to have a strong hold. And what's the ingredient that's looking like? What is it for? Um, detangles, added, defines, long-lasting hold. We're going to get that long-lasting definition, guys. And it's going to lock in moisture for long-lasting curls. Okay. Ooh, okay. It has rosemary, hoist, hoist tail, horse tail. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This actually looks pretty good. Hmm. I don't know. I might have to let's see. Like so, with some of these brands, I want to see what they're gonna provide for Black Friday. If they're gonna have any good deals, because I want free shipping. So anything with free shipping and some percent off, I'm in there. I wasn't really looking. I didn't. I wasn't gonna get anything for Black Friday. But if any of these products are, I might have to get it. This this one I like. This actually looks and sounds good. The curling jelly. So I let's add that. Next thing that was on the list is by Curl Smith. So already. You guys want me to spend that money? So this is something that I actually was interested on in buying. This is the Curl Smith In Shower Style Fixer. So I saw Miss Bianca Renee today. She did a video on this. Now the tricky thing, tricky, the trippy thing about this product is that you have to apply it directly in the shower. Well, while your hair is super soaking wet. So they recommend in the shower because your hair is already wet. The main thing about this product is that it's gonna give you that long lasting hold so it does have an intense crunch. So it doesn't mention anything about like the strong, yeah, strong hold styling gel for curly and kinky hair. Like 
it's supposedly like it's gonna give you that long lasting stronghold so this is pretty interesting i wonder if they have it at ulta if i can find it at ulta then i'll definitely review this next so let me know if you really want to see a review on this because the fact that it's easily accessible i'm able to try it out faster so this is actually on my list so i actually do want to try this out next thing here is by the main choice and what i found because what you guys wrote on it specifically was what i say main choice ancient egyptian gel so that's what i found the ancient egyptian 24 karat gold twisting gel i like the packaging main choice always has like very nice packaging it's hard to record with it because it has like that like the holographic how do you say holographic how do you say that when it's like holographic 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 what was it, what was i saying holographic oh my gosh <laughs> so for this product what does it exactly says it's a unique Twisting gel wash and go to that functions by keeping hair soft while delivering amazing definition. So this right here, I don't know if I would be interested in reviewing just by that keeping your hair soft. But what I like about the main choice is that they always like they always have good stuff. Like if you look at the ingredients, biotin is a second ingredient. That's crazy. So they yeah they usually have good stuff. And then with this, I don't think it has like any bad stuff like sulfate, ser um, silicone, silicone or parabens. Usually they're like a really good brand. So. This seems good, but I'm not too sure if I would like review this right away. Next thing here is She Scented. Now, the only thing that I tried from She Scented was a long time ago, and it was a leave-in conditioner. I think like a cocoa cream, something like that, because it smelled very coconutty. It was like a summer mix, but I didn't really care for that leave-in conditioner, so I tried it. It was not something that I wanted to try out again. But with this, you wanted me to try the Tahiti Cocktail Leave-In Smoothie. So that right there already sounds very nourishing and this right here this emollient rich leave-in i love a good leave-in conditioner is an exotic explosion of nourishing botanical extracts okay what exactly is going to do hair will be soft shiny and hydrated i like that so what i like in my leave-in conditioner is it needs to have good ingredients it needs to leave my hair like hydrated because that's going to be a good base so okay what is up with this let's see so it has, I'm trying to see if it has like oil so high up there because usually when leave-in conditioners or if any specific product has like coconut oil or like some ingredients so high up, my hair kind of feels a type of way. Oh, my bangs doesn't look bad. Um, it makes my hair look some type of way, but so far like the oil isn't that high up there. Is it? Okay, we'll deal with that. But um, I actually like this. No review. Okay, this isn't the She Sent a website, but uh, this I might if I'm... For my next leave-in, this actually seems pretty good. Tahiti cocktail leave-in smoothie. Okay, next thing is Miss Azure Beauty. Now, the only thing I tried from this brand is a leave-in conditioner, and I do like that a lot. That's something that is very thick. It's very, very hydrating. So if you're looking for, like, a very moisturizing, um, thicker conditioner like a leave-in i would definitely recommend this brand you said azure beauty so i'm going to look at their website as a whole and see what's something that's going to catch my attention so i already have the leave-in conditioner styler so i'm gonna go with that they have a moisturizer shampoo they have a curl defining cream i'm not too sure about that they got a defining gel i heard good things about their deep conditioner so if i was going to try something from this brand i would stick to um their deep conditioner this is what it looks like and it looks kind of it looks good so if i had to try something from the azure next it would definitely be um their leave-in conditioner no their deep conditioner next recommendation is curl dynasty so i've seen this on my instagram before and this is what it looks like of course i've seen it and it caught my attention because it has like that purple yellow looking like la lakers in here so um what exactly do what's up so let me see their cleansing condition like anything looks cool from here what's cool is that this is available at target of course not my target but maybe yours so you can check it out a lot of pop-ups so what's here so we have a smoothie like a leave-in eh. okay this sounds good already pumpkin mint deep treatment mask what is this give me slip hydration shampoo now nah. uh I, anything with mint always gets me so let me click on this cocoa mint shampoo so when i see this nozzle right here i'm like okay it's gonna be a really watery shampoo so it does have organic peppermint oil rosemary okay this actually looks pretty good so okay but when i see the oils because i've had a minty shampoo that's just like this like i had a cocoa mint shampoo and it had so much oils and everything like that that i don't know it made my hair feel a little bit weird so I'm going to back out out of that and let's look at their pumpkin deep treatment. Okay, so this is a restorative deep condition designed to penetrate the hair shaft, delivering natural vitamins, nutrients, and antioxidants for strong, healthy hair. 
love that love that no sulfate paraben silicone what's the ingredient list looking like this is what it's looking like actually okay so if i wanted to try something from this line i would probably get their hair mask this already sounds good i have so many hair masks because i have a lot of sultanicals over there so i'm not looking to buy a hair mask anytime soon but if they got something on black friday man i might have to i might have to so next thing here i never heard okay i heard of this brand curl junkie i never got anything from them but this is what their website looking like where do i start free shipping on all orders over a hundred dollars might have to change that for black friday so let's see let's look at hair treatments oh they got sample sets Ooh. okay they have a hibiscus and banana deep fix they have a gardenia coconut scent these are okay moisturizing hair treat curl rehab i don't even know what i'm saying at this point i want to look at their mini sets sale item sample sets you see i don't like when they have the little the sample pouch like I'll, give me like a two ounce don't give me the plastic thing because i can't like reuse it for later your nose yeah 0.45 fluid ounce no oh, man never mind okay what am i looking let's look at styling product we got a hair styling gel hair styling gel hair styling cream curls in a bottle what's this let's click on that they have a lot of stuff so let me just get straight to the point because i feel like this is going to be a long video it's already 15 minutes in but let's see if it's going to be 15 minutes what is it it's a lightweight liquid styling gel slash serum with a light hold Adds brilliant shine and helps to tame frizz. Curls in a bottle is the ultimate solution to maintain and define your curls every day. So, if you're looking for that like lightweight hold, this is this kind of like a, a leave-in or something. Yeah, this product can be layered on top of other styling products for extra frizz protection. I don't think I would try that out. This is tough. That's why I appreciate when you tell me specifically what to try. I'm gonna just stick to one. Let's go to their conditioners. Man, kind of pricey. 19 bucks, 20 bucks. Oh, I wasn't even looking at the price. I'm a little pricey. They have a reconstructive treatment. 29 bucks. Okay. Well, let's see if it's like. Cause sometimes, like, I'm looking for like a new protein treatment. So if this is like a protein treatment. Mm. Does your hair need a major dose of protein? Excellent for chemically damaged. Makes great once a month treatment. So I'm looking for like a good protein treatment to do like every other month. Um like once in a while when i need that protein fix like a strong one so this seems kind of interesting so i don't know if i would get it but like they have a lot of stuff on this website so to make it short i like that they have a reconstructive hair treatment i like that so the next suggestion you got for me is flora curl and actually i have my eye on one specific product so i'm happy that you guys mentioned it looking at all these products what's in that you're like oh elizabeth would definitely try that out i'm scrolling very slow for you guys let me know That's right, you got it. It is the, where is it? Right here. Organic rose and honey leave-in detangler. So, wow, $22. You know, they're starting to sell this in Ulta online. I'm waiting to see if they ever bring it in stores. If they do, you know I already got you with a video on it. But this is something I, ooh, look at that. Look how creamy that looks. Let me zoom in. That looks good. That looks very nourishing. So, what is it right here? It's a detangling conditioner that adds softness and slip to hair to release knots and tangles to make combing and styling manageability easy. And yeah, easy, cool. So it's a leave-in conditioner. This is something that I do want to try out from Flora Curl. So if they ever get it in stores, thumbs up again. I actually, this actually seems good. I like it. Would you recommend to a friend? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. That was easy. Next brand here is by Camille Rose and you said to try out their twisting butter. So this is the Almond Jai Twisting Butter. So right off the bat, I I don't think I would try this off just by the title of it. I don't really, I don't do twisting butters. I don't need like something that heavy on my hair. But it says right here, the surprise, the supremely soft styling butter with an indulgent nutty aroma crafted to nourish and elongate tresses. So if you're into that, that description sounds good, but I'm not, I don't think I would try it out. Next, you wanted me to try out was from Camille Rose as well, and it's their Ultimate Growth Serum. So it's a healing hair oil blended. Uh, let me read that again. A healing hair oil blend crafted to combat thinning and hair breakage. So when I look for a serum, I'm like, okay, do you have anything minty in there? Because I like a more minty serum, a minty oil. So 
but let's see full ingredient list um almond oil that's a good one sesame seed oil coconut oil jojoba macadamia honey uh, so nothing like nothing minty but they do have some good stuff in it i wouldn't buy it just because i do have a lot of oils already and i'm not interested in buying a new one but this already with the ingredients i like that they have like something different nothing just like only coconut jojoba they do have amla they do have um biotin what's this shibu ws i don't know what that is but okay i heard this one right here i'm not even gonna pronounce it i'll just highlight it for you this all all oh, 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 has tea tree i don't even see that but these two ingredients right here i hear good things about it so the fact that it has it in here i'm like okay this already seems like a very good oil i'm not gonna get it because i don't need oil like i said but if y'all want it it's right here i feel like i have to move pretty quick just because you guys gave me a lot of stuff i don't, I don't want this video to be fix my hair i don't want this video to be so long but you guys gave me a lot of things i didn't want to break it up to two videos so let's continue one thing that you guys wanted me to spend my money on was madam cj walker so if it's on the sephora store you already know it's pricey so what do they have here um let's go to see all oh they got mini size i had to get that so madam cj walker i've seen this at i've seen this at ulta no i've seen it at sephora before and oh let's see here they have a travel kit so if there's a travel kit i am drawn to it just because it has everything there i don't feel bad about not using it so i got a travel kit let's see what it provides here so um a moisturizing kit that is a dream come true for your needs medium and thick hair curl enhancing frizz and shine so it brings two ounces the minimum needs to be at least two ounces for like a travel kit because if it's like one ounce it's like dang i'm not gonna focus on the reviews i just want to see what exactly is it so here it brings a protein treatment oh that's interesting they bring a hydration buttery conditioner it brings something that i cannot read because it's so light what does it say conditioning cream i believe and it brings a co-wash so i don't really use a co-wash but let me go back to like the original brand so from here from here what looks good they got a daily shampoo a bomb um what seems interesting already is that travel kit so if you want to look more into it you definitely can this is another brand that is available at sephora so it's another pricey thing and how do you say it cumit hemet biologics okay so where should i start they have samples i'm clicking on that please don't be in a packet please don't be in a packet please don't be in a packet okay but it's like damn eight bucks that's kind of pricey they don't have bundles oh they have deodorant wow i'm like all over the place this this conditioning thing sounds pretty good let me click it light creamy conditioner detangles and keeps moderate dry hair soft supple and manageable throughout the day without weighing it down so just a plain conditioner which seems pretty interesting this is the ingredients contains organic comma like okay um coconut oil but what's the full list i don't need this this description of everything i want to see the full list let's go to let's click on nourish and grow what's what's gonna help my hair grow serum serum i'm not going for that moisturizer style heavy cream nope i don't want a heavy cream i'm not i don't do twisting butters i don't need a cream like that hydration balm oh let's see what that is okay oil honey all this stuff so it seems like it's gonna be a little bit heavy on my hair though and the water is not the first ingredient so of course i would have to make sure my hair is like nice and hydrated before i put in all the sealing stuff but i don't know i, I don't i don't think i would get anything from this brand seems cool but i don't think i would I don't want it. So next product you want me to try out is Oyen Handmade. And the only thing I tried from this is like their detangling spray, which it does a good job detangling. I did do a demo on that product because it was in my curl box. The one thing that curl box has given me was that. So let's see here. Let's go to style. Let's see what their styling thing is. I've heard of one thing from Oyen that I, what is the name of it? I don't even know. But let's click on here. The Boing All-in-One Coil Soft styler styler ph level five that's interesting um how to use 
work a small medium amount of boing through clean damp hair from mood to end this is what the ingredient list is looking like i do like when the product has like shea butter kind of high up there just because with the um janitor beauty i believe shea butter was high up there and that worked really good on my hair so i hope that does too okay just by looking at the ingredient wise i like it i think it i if i had to pick something so far i like the boing i like the boing this sounds good create uniform bouncy curls and coils and it says highly textured patterns um, encourages coils and moisturize in one easy step so oh it has irish moss never stood for crunchy your hair will retain moisture and coils bounce like spring so this actually seems good from this brand that seems good next on the list is palmer's and i can say for a fact i'm not gonna try anything from palmer's i don't really like nah that's not my thing but this is what the website is looking like their products you can get it at target i believe i did see this whole line at target so i'll show you guys how it looks quickly um this is what their stuff looks like but you said specifically let me see let me make sure palmer's natural fusion so i'm looking at the natural fusion line can i break it down by collections natural fusion perfect this is what the stuff is looking like they are very affordable let me click on one okay close oh 12 bucks it's all right there so they are fairly affordable but i don't know i don't think i would try anything from them i never heard of this brand before this is called canvas beauty first of all the website looks very classy like it looks nice this looks very oh look at the price wow okay the whole essentials kit is 87 dollars but let's break it down let's look at the sets do they have any like travel though okay yeah just expensive um what am i clicking on hair products come on elizabeth this okay this brand is not playing it's on the pricey side but let me see what they have here they have a deep conditioner that seems pretty interesting leave in argan a mist i don't really do like any mist nah Amplifying shampoo, amplifying conditioner. Okay, let me click on the description of something. So let's look at their deep conditioner. For example, um, finally a deep conditioner that is that's thick and does exactly what it's supposed to do. It'll leave your hair supple, soft. Twelve reviews, but where's what's the stuff? Where's the ingredient list? Why does not show me that? Really? Let me refresh okay so this is not showing me like it's not showing me the ingredient list it's not showing me any of that you guys you guys see it right okay this conditioner sounds good but it doesn't have i can't click on the ingredients list or anything so i'm gonna just get past this so let's look at another brand which is my honey child where do you guys where are you guys finding this stuff like this is i'm really happy that you're telling me brands that i've never heard of so my honey child that already sounds like oh so much love is it just a type 4 hair cream Okay, type for hair cream, order now, description, ingredients, order, is that all they have? I think that's all they have. Awesome. Also, click on it though for you guys. I don't think I have to click anything, just order now. So this is the only thing I can find on the website, but um, no, nah, I don't really, I don't really do like a lot of creams like that, so I'm going to pass. Next thing I have here is cream and cocoa. This is another brand that I've never heard of, but it says Artisan Hair Body. Does it have soap? Because I like to buy natural soap, so if I can find that, I'll definitely get that. Anyways, let's focus on hair. So let's look at conditioners. They have a co-wash. Okay, Caribbean Honey Sorel Deep Conditioner. They have another co-wash. They have a lot of stuff. Okay, let's click here. A Restoring Deep Conditioner. That, are, that looks good. It looks so like so whipped and it looks very soft. So that already looks good. Um, this is a creamy deep conditioning smoothie of smoothing of soothing botanicals, nourishing aloe. Okay. Ingredients. Pure water. And then we have avocado oil. Okay. These works. Oh, okay. So this right here, this seems like a good deep conditioner. So anything from this line, if I wanted to try out, would be a deep conditioner looks very good next we have here is carol's daughter i'm gonna say straight off the bat i'm not gonna try anything from carol's daughter i'm not really too like like interested in them but you can get it at target so that's the good thing about carol's daughter it is available 
close by so that's always a good thing um i hear good stuff about i don't even know what i hear good stuff about okay they're monoi repairing hair mask i have tried that back in the day and my friend really likes his hair mask so that's a good one if you guys are looking for something like that but to be honest i wouldn't get anything from carol's daughter so i never actually looked at their website before next thing is as i am and what did you say specifically somebody said as i am product i use their leave-in and so far so good i'm curious about their gel versus jelly i think i did a review on their jelly I did a review on their jelly before. I mean, yeah, on the curling jelly, I did a review on that. And then you said their gel. They have a gel? They have a twist of a smoothing gel. I think that's what you're referring to. Let's see what their gel is like. Their curling jelly, I tried it I tried it so long ago that I don't really remember too much about it, but I'm not too interested in trying um as I am. You can get this at Sally Beauty, so that's a good thing. You can get it at Sally Beauty. Um, this is their smoothing gel. This is what the ingredient is looking like. So it's nothing that is too long. So I do appreciate that. And it's going to help uh, provide a secure hold. Keep it secure. Um, moisturizes, adds shine, rinses easily from hair when it's time to cleanse. Won't dry out, harden, or roughen hair. So that's what the As I Am stuff is looking like. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're almost done. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. Okay, next lane. Lane. I can't even talk now. Okay, so next brand that you wanted me to try out was Botanica. Botanica Beauty. I've seen this before on my Instagram. And I wouldn't try anything from there just because they do have silicone on their products. So if I can avoid it, I will avoid it. If something happens by accident, like there's been times where I've reviewed a product and I didn't look at the ingredient list or I looked at the ingredient list and I missed it, then I'm just like, oh snap. But if I can avoid it, I, I don't like to use it on my hair. Their brand, they do have silicone in it, but let me show you what their stuff is all about. Right here, for example, if I click on the finer, it's sold out, but we're gonna click on it anyways. So it's like an ultra moisturizing, ultra defining, all this good stuff. But when you look at the ingredient list, I know it's here, man, I saw it here before. All right here, yeah, Amati Methicone. So they have a lot of silicone in their products. I know they have it in here. I believe they have it in, I think the hydrator, like their hair mask. Let me double check with you guys. I know it's here. Yeah, Amati Methicone, right there. So they do say have silicone in their products, so that's why I'm not really interested in trying it at the moment. They might like update it eventually, but at the moment, I'm good. Okay, so that's Miss Botanica Beauty. Are you guys excited? I'm almost done. Okay, so now from Instagram, these are just five, one, two, three, four, five. You guys, sh you guys, you guys showed me five products from Instagram that you wanted me to try out. So that's cool. That's what we're doing right now. The first product is Natural Grow. Very nice. Okay. Um, this is home. So this is what they're talking about. Okay. They have a deep conditioning. They have a... Uh, a clay mask do i have a clay mask i don't think i have a clay mask so let's go ahead and click on that let's look at this so our indian clay moisture in the hair mask is specially formulated with natural herbs it's gonna help revive dull dry and damaged hair read more about the benefits of rose clay and argan below so this moisturizing and nourishing conditioner will melt tangles away leaving your hair that is instantly more manageable softer and healthier so this already sounds very good okay so if i wanted to try out a clay mask this doesn't seem bad good stuff here I like that it has a vino oat that's like very like calming to the scalp and this is what it's about how much is it $13.99 not bad not bad so that is natural grow next brand that you wanted me to try out is how you say it inahasi anasi anasi how you say it i don't know but it's this brand right here and i've seen this before and i've heard good things so It'll be good. Do they have a starter kit? But do you guys have? Let me click on two ounces. Can you guys give me like a travel kit, please? Please give me a travel kit. I actually looked at this website a long time ago, so there is some items that from here that I was like, oh, it seems kind of cool. Um, let me let me see right here. Mm. From the mini size, let me peer the Rocker Curls Curl Enhancing Cream. Because you know we all like a good curl cream sometimes. You know, it's not all about like strong hold. If I want, if I get a gel. I do want it to have a good hold, but sometimes you want your hair to be nice and nice and nice. You know what I mean? So this right here, I like this. This seems kind of cool. So this curl enhancing cream, what is it about? So it says right here, this will moisturize, define, and strengthen your curls while leaving them touchably soft. It is in time, isn't it time that you rock your curls? Wow. 
love that. Ingredients does not look bad. It doesn't have anything like like silicone or anything from what I'm seeing, but okay. If I had to try something from this brand, this looks good. This actually looks pretty good, so I'm interested. Next thing I have here, how do I say this? When it's in cursive, um Regia Sweet Naturals. Regia. Regia. Yeah, okay, I'll go with that. Um, okay, Black Friday, wow. It says right here immediately Black Friday sale, save up to 40% off the 20th and 29th. So if you guys are looking for a sale already, this is posted. They have a shampoo bar, they have a leave-in conditioner, a moisturizer, uh, edge growth cream. What is that? I might click on that. Oh, they have a okay sampler, 30 bucks. But if you get this for Black Friday, it's probably gonna be on the low low. So let's look at that. That's not bad. For $30, you get seven items. I believe they might be like two ounces. Okay, this it might be two ounces, but for $30, Anthony, if something's $30, it says up to 40% off. So let's hope for the best. What's 40% of $30? Quick math. 40%? Okay, let me think. Hold on, give me time. $12. Twelve dollars? Yeah. So 12 minus 30 is, let me guess, 18. That's not bad. That is not bad. But I don't think it's going to be up to... We'll see. But this right here, this right here, though, that seems pretty good. Let me see what else. What is something... I wanted to look at... What's this? Mm -hmm. I want to look at... Another. Oh, they have a sampler kit of five, sampler kit of three. I appreciate that. Wow, she's giving us options. So this brings the curl cream, a leave-in, a moisturizer, a moisture cream, a body butter, a co-wash, a detangler. How... How... It says seven. Oh, Oh, you can choose. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wow. You can choose from the following products. I like that. I like that. Okay. What's 40% off? Let's do 30 because let's try 30. What's 30% 30 of $16? 30% of 16? Mm -hmm. um, game time. Of $16? 16.00. So. USD. What's 6 times 3? I'm kind of slow. Reading. 6, 12, 18. 6. 18? Yeah. So 480. 480? What's mm -hmm. 480 minus 16? Uh, That's 14? Be... Oh, I don't know. Oh my god. 12. I'm so lost. 12 something. In numbers. I don't no, know. 11 something. Yeah, 11 something. 11 20. But I feel like. 11 20. 11 20. <laughs> I feel like. PM. Okay. This might be like around 20 bucks ish because with tax, shipping, all that good stuff. But I'm going to look at it. So let me. Let's move on to the next one. So, next one from Instagram. How do I say this? You know, I used to think, like, when I saw, like, YouTube videos and stuff like that, people were like, man, I have so much, it's hard pronouncing it. I'm like, okay, but just say it. Now I can understand because it's like, I don't want to look stupid, and I don't want to, like, you know, say somebody's name wrong, say somebody's brand wrong. So I'm just going to try my best, and I'm going to say, oh my J. Oh my God, oh my J. We'll go with that. So right here, Marshmallow and Babasu Collection. Let's click on this, actually sounds good. Herbal Conditioner. Is this like a regular rinse out conditioner? Because like something you need a good rinse out conditioner. Like let's keep it simple. Give me a good conditioner. Call it a day. This nourishing conditioner will moist restore moisture to any hair type with ease. All the good stuff. So oh yeah, silicone and sulfate. Curly girl approved. Who approved it? Curly hair. Curly girls. I got any samples. This looks really are you she she's on this? Okay, girl, do your thing. Hair porosity. I don't know, this brand has a lot of stuff. I feel like it really, like, I'm just saying it because I don't want to look through the whole thing. Because <sighs> I'm just tired. Oh, they have trouble? I like that. Can I choose? Please tell me I can choose. For full description, can I choose what I want? I can choose what I want? Wow. You go. Okay, so if I say something, if you're going to try something from this brand, Try them samples. It's two ounces, so we like that. This is cool. Anthony, hmm. isn't that cool? Very cool. That is so cool. You so let me, cool. You're letting me choose what I want. Wow. So I will try just maybe their herbal conditioner. And for two, maybe the curl potion. I don't know anything about it. Let's click on it. Five reviews. Styling nectar. Soft hold definition shine. And you know, it's... Maybe that or like the other stuff. Hair milk. Yeah, not bad. The last brand that you wanted me to try out. Last one, guys. Last one is by 
curls and potion so I had tried this product out I only tried it was their their water <laughs> what is it that sounds like what they sell they sell that hydrogen water you guys know my answer story when I did that okay probably not yeah right here their thirsty hair revitalizing tea I did like it so it was good because really good ingredients it smells good it had like a I think a like a blood orange scent like a very deep orange scent after I wash my hair I would just spray this before I put my styler or to refresh it so that was good one thing from this brand that I heard good things about is something like a gloss, a clay gloss. Let's see if it's on the first page. They're cheap, chubby. Did I say that? Did this happen to me? Oh, Shebe, Shebe. This happened to How me before. C H E B E. It's like um, I done this before, and I googled it. It's Shebe, Shebe. Right here, this is something that I did want to try out. How come I want me this? This what? Okay. So this is a pre-treatment and it's also going to detoxify your hair and remove impurities caused by environmental toxin. Get that out of your hair. So this is like a pre-treatment, but look at the ingredients, man. Look at this. And it's a clay. So it has clay in it as well. This seems good. So if I wanted to try something out from Curls and Potion, I would try this out and I would recommend it just because I've seen... I wouldn't recommend it. I'll say try it out because I saw good stuff about it. I guess the same thing as recommending. Do your research. But I would try this product out. This actually looks good from Curls and Potion. <sighs> that's it, guys. So that's pretty much all the products that I want to try out next, that you wanted me to try out next, and some new brands that I'm like, oh, I'm going to look into it after I finish with this video. But let me make sure. Yeah, that's definitely it. There's like no other brand that you wanted me to try out. This video is long enough, so editing should be fun. But I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. I hope that I showed you some new brands because I definitely... You guys definitely showed me some new brands I never heard of, so I appreciate that. Hopefully you get an idea of some products that I kind of like and then products that I kind of stay away from. That is it for this video. Let me know if you are interested in any other video. Like, leave some good ideas down below. And let me know if I should do this, like, more often. If you guys, yeah, if I should do this type of stuff more often where I tell you guys what I want to try out next. And I leave the discussion open that you guys can leave me your suggestions your suggestions let me know and that is it man i keep saying that is it but i keep talking but this is not for all this is it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys